Hi everyone, I'm Nick James and welcome to the guitargo.co.uk review of the Paul Reed Smith S2 single cut satin. Um, S2 is the second production line in the American PRS factory in Maryland. Um, the guitars are more affordable than the core line um, because I've used a few, few different techniques just to speed up the production process. Um, and the Saturn series is the most affordable of all the American PRS guitars. So let's start off with the basics. We've got a one-piece mahogany body that's beveled um, for a bit of comfort. Um, it's a nice, nicely figured and grained piece of mahogany, which is a bit of a surprise at this price point, actually. You'd expect something very plain. Um, it's about two inches thick, um, so it's a good slab. Um, we have a three-piece mahogany neck with a Indian rosewood fingerboard. Um, this is PRS's pattern regular profile. Um, so it's a nice rounded neck shape um, with a bit of meat to it, but it's not chubby or overly full. Um, it's a good halfway house in the PRS neck shape range. We've got two of the PRS number no. seven S2 humbuckers. We've got the American wrap over adjustable tailpiece, um, Korean made phase two lock in tuners, a volume for each pickup, a tone for each pickup, and a coil split for each pickup, and then the three way toggle uh, where you'd expect to find it on a single coil, uh, single cut type guitar. Now, with these four controls and the three-way switch, there's actually eight different pickup um, combinations. Each humbucker has its own coil tap. So this is the bridge pickup on full. This is the bridge pickup tapped. This is both humbuckers on full. This is full nep neck humbucker with tapped bridge pickup. And this is full bridge humbucker with the tapped neck pickup. This is both pickups tapped. This is the neck humbucker on full. The tapped neck pickup. In terms of aesthetics, um, there's not a lot. Um, it's available in three different color, colors. You've got a charcoal gray, uh, a tobacco sunburst, and this rather nice vintage cherry. It's finished in a satin nitrocellulose, which is very, very thin finish. Um, you can actually feel the pores of the wood as you run your hands on it. And that gives you a nice kind of intimate um, 
feeling with the guitar that you're in touch with the wood um, and it gives a really nice playing experience um, especially on the neck I'm, I'm personally not a fan of gloss necks um, and this is a nice compromise between having a finished neck but still being able to uh, sort of have a feeling for the wood I prefer sort of bare wood necks or oiled necks but this is this is the next one along uh, in my preference um, all the electronics are mounted apart from the switch on the pit guard um, which again keeps costs down. Um, other sort of money saving ideas are the scarf jointed headstock but as you run your hand along the back of the neck you can't feel the join and in fact you're quite on this one you're quite hard pressed to to see the join um, so great job there. The final aesthetic thing, um, these are only available with dot inlays, um, which is fine for me. Um, I don't like the bird inlays on the newer S2s and C models because they, they're just cheap white plastic. And if you're going to use cheap white plastic, there's no point doing an elaborate inlay. Um, keep it simple, nice big dots that are easy to see um, under any lighting condition. Um, and I think it, it matches the sort of utilitarian uh, working musician vibe of the guitar. One of the things we see a lot on the forums um, about the S2 guitars is criticism of the hardware and the pickups. Um, on this one, as I say, it's the, the USA Core adjustable fixed bridge, so that's kind of a moot point. Um, the pickups are wound in Korea to allegedly the same specs as the USA versions, um, number seven treble and bass in this scenario. Um, and then Korean phase two locking tuners. Um, the tuners are fine. Um, yes, they're cast metal rather than machined. Um, but as I've said before on the channel, PRS have always outsourced its tuners um, and they've often been from countries other than the USA. Um, if you've got a core line guitar, the tuners on there will either be from Schaller in Germany or from Goto in Japan. Um, these just happen to be made in Korea and functionally they work fine. Um, they're very stable, they're very quick and easy to use and aesthetically you'd be hard pushed to tell the difference between these and the guitar uh, tuners used on more expensive guitars. Um, for me the elephant in the room is those pickups. Um, there's nothing wrong with them per se, but from a purely subjective point of view, they don't seem to have a lot of character. Um, the neck pickup is usable, um, the neck pickup is okay, um, especially when split, um, but the bridge pickups just. It's not even vanilla because vanilla's got character. It's a very generic, almost bland bridge pickup. Um, 
It hasn't got enough output or mid-range push to work well in modern metal settings. Um, it's a bit too hot and balanced to use in kind of blues and classic rock um, settings. Um, it's just a bit dull, if I'm going to be honest. And as I say, that's that's totally subjective. So there's going to be people out there who love it and can use it in a musical application. But for me, um, when buying particularly the single cut S2 Satin, I think you probably need to budget in for a new bridge pickup to, to match the kind of music that you enjoy playing. Um, so yeah, something like a Dimasio Seymour Duncan um, would probably suit this kind of price range guitar, but obviously you can go higher end if you so wish. In terms of playability, uh, you've got 22 frets on a 10 inch radius fingerboard, um, really slick, uh, it's got great low action, um, the neck pitch is ideal, um, so palm mutant's fine, staccato riffing is fine, um, the frets are a nice size, they're not the tallest or the widest, but they, they suit um, this neck and this radius. Um, as you'd expect from any American-made PRS, playability is not an issue. Absolutely fantastic. Then you love it when you hit a bum note at the end. In summary, for £999, you are getting a genuine American made PRS guitar with all the good stuff that that entails. It, the finish is flawless despite being so thin. Um, playability is fantastic. It stays in tune. Um, but the big elephant in the room is the sound. It's very bland especially on that bridge pickup. Um, so yes, it's £999. Um, yes, it's the most affordable way to obtain an American PRS um, for, you know, brand new. But you're going to have to factor in, in my opinion, um, no matter what style of music you play, you're going to have to factor in for a new bridge pickup at least. Um, and possibly a new neck pickup, depending on your tastes. Um, so that £999, so you want to spend 85 quid on a on a Duncan or a Damasio, that takes it to nearly 1100 So value for money, it's still very, very good. Um, in terms of competition, you can buy a Gibson satin nitro finished guitar for £600. 
700 pounds whatever they are at the moment um, the finish is not going to be as well applied as this um, the satin nitro models from Gibson tend to have that kind of orange peel effect on their satin nitro finish which again is not a bad thing um, that's a purely personal preference thing um, but this is as smooth a satin paint job as you will ever find um, playability is flawless and I think at this price range that's that's what you're going to be looking for does it play well does it stay in tune does it look good um, and I think this ticks all those boxes So thanks everyone for watching, um, if you've enjoyed it please like, subscribe and share. Um, I've been Nick James, this has been guitargo.co.uk and I'll see you all next time. So just a final thought on those S2 number 7 pickups. Um, the standard set in 22 and 24 come with the 8515S pickups which to my ears at least are much more toneful, they've got a lot more character and personality um, and I think PRS have dropped the ball a little bit by not putting them in the S2 single cut. So if you get the chance make sure you try all three models side by side and hopefully one of them will speak to you more than the others and uh, happy days. So thank you very much and we'll see you next time. Bye.